Alrighty, well, hi everybody, and, well, I need to sketch in a little bit of background first before I continue on. Um, this morning, normally I try to do a Gems of War stream around, the, or around uh, 7 a.m. Well, that didn't happen, um, uh, just the sleep went really bad. Uh, I must have hurt my uh, neck, and, neck and or shoulder at work on Friday, and, um, this morning I guess it kind of caught up with me because it was hard as hell to, uh, it was hard as hell to sleep because my shoulder and neck were hurting so bad. And the pain actually went up behind my right ear. So, yeah, I did something pretty did something pretty bad at work on Friday. So, and then for the snatch, for the brief periods of time that I actually could sleep, it was a dream and nightmare filled. Um, I'm guessing probably from the, just probably from the shock of the, probably from the pain. That's what I'm guessing. But anyway, I had to... I had a shit can the morning stream because of that. I ended up oversleeping like two hours. By the time my alarm went off, I was in no condition to even get out of bed. So, and then later on, like around noon or so, um, I wanted to at least maybe do a chest stream. So, I decided to go ahead and um, lay down for another short nap. But that didn't happen either because I pretty much just went <laughs> and, um, and actually ended up oversleeping another hour or two. So, I guess I really needed it. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do... So, so this day isn't completely unproductive. Um, I think it was on Friday. I watched an episode of Bill Maher. He did an episode on loneliness. And it's pretty interesting stuff. So, about a week ago, I took a personalities test. Which I, which I kind of liked. It, it was something that I hadn't done in many years. So, so once again, inspired by the uh, Bill Maher episode, I thought I would go ahead and just uh, do a loneliness test. I mean, I kind of already have my own cut and dried opinions on this. So, like I said, if for no other reason than so my, uh, my whole day wasn't a complete waste just to put something out there, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, do a loneliness test. And then also, like usual, in the background, I'm going to have some music going. This is going to be a Heroic Viking, uh, Barbarian Echoes. It, it's brand spanking new. It just came out today. So, it just, it's um, basically retro synth music. Um, kind of retro dungeon synth, if you've ever heard of that genre. So, let me go ahead and get that fired up. Okay. <laughs> and right off the bat, question one. <laughs> Hardly at all. Wait, let me look at something real quick. Okay, so... Okay. So you have five options. Oh, no. Power trippy as it might sound, your life can always be better. There's always something you can improve. So that's why it's not all the way the agree part. Not at all. It kind of go back, goes back to what I said on the last question. There's always ways you can improve. But aside from that, as far as feeling worthless, nope. The future is too uncertain. Um, I mean, all your best, all your best laid plans can go to shit. Uh, it's, if this makes, for all the sense, this makes. Um, this is one thing that pinball taught me. You can do everything you're supposed to do in pinball, and you could still end up plumbing your shot, and the ball drains down the out lane or straight down the middle, etc. I mean kind of an off-the-wall analogy, but yeah, it, the future is never set. So, but at the same time, too, life isn't doom and gloom for me, so I'll just leave it at neutral. Um, hey, we got a good one here. 
Uh, I'll, I might end up having to elaborate as the test goes on, but I'm not, to the short version, I'm not really friendship material. But, um, I'm not going to completely disagree, but I tend to, in most, or that I can recall, in most, if not all of my social interactions I've had throughout my life, they've, they've never ended well. I mean, there might have been a, there might have been a, uh, a few here and there, I can't remember what, what they were, or which ones. I seem to have my best social interactions when I'm streaming. So, they're not, um... I don't... I don't want to call them friends in the purest sense. In that, uh, I've never met them in real life. But yeah, I've, uh... I've, I've, for lack of a better word, half friends. Like I said, they're... They're my... They're my friends for the for the purposes of streaming. Uh, my regulars, we've known each other for years. You know, so... But that's about as far as it goes. In real life, it never works out. So... But a lot of times, though, there are people out there... There are people out there, you know, they're friendly, they're charismatic, they're outgoing. You know, they want to get to know you and all that, but... When, um, when I interact with them, you know, it just, it doesn't go that well. But like I said, um, some of these questions later on will probably prompt me to elaborate on that more. So this is probably one of the reasons why, um, why, I've been, why I like doing these tests, because they really jog your memory. In real life, I hardly talk to anybody else. So... Yeah, so doing stuff like this can, like I said, it can, it kind of stoke the coal, so to speak. Yes. Um. Oh, I'm going to leave this at neutral. I bet on both sides on this. There's, it's, it's either, it's either some combination of me not liking the people I interact with or uh, the people not liking me. Or, uh, yeah, or other people not liking me. Um, kind of a side note here too. You would think that since I'm the kind of person that's in, you know, I'm I'm into gaming, I'm into video games, books, movies, etc. You would think that other nerds, like probably the kind you find on the Big Bang Theory, that show, that I basically never watched, except for little little bits and tiny little tiny bits and pieces here and there. But again, kind of, I'm kind of going off here, but you would think that other nerds would be a perfect fit for me. Nope. I mean, I'll I'll play Magic the Gathering with them or something like that, but but yeah, even even with me and other nerds, it doesn't end well. So yeah, that that's that's what you're up against. But again, again, the the dissatisfaction is often is oftentimes mutual. I don't like them for whatever reason. They don't like me for whatever reason. So because of that, I'll just leave it at neutral. This is uh, one half of the locket right here. I would I would go all the way to the right, but again, I don't. It isn't like outright depression. I think nobody likes me, or you know, like like Charlie Brown or something. No, it just it doesn't work out. Um, 
Again, the tone of the statement, it sounds like they're trying to, it, it's, it's like they're implying that you're being kicked out of a social group, which yes, that has happened, that has happened to me, but sometimes I'll show myself, oftentimes I'll show myself the door as well. Again, it's just, we don't get along. So, yes, I often feel left out, but once again, that can oftentimes be from my end. Like I said, we're just not getting along. So off and all, I'll go ahead and bow myself out of the dance. So that's why it's not all the way to the right. Nope. Um, this isn't being arrogant, you know, this isn't being narcissistic or anything like that. Um, once again, like I said about five, ten minutes ago, with probably very few exceptions here and there that I can't recall right now, nearly pretty much every um, social interaction has never ended well. Nope. See my last answer. Um, I'm not gonna go all the way to the right. Again, it it feels like this. Um, it feels like with this quite the tone of that question. It makes it sound like I'm supposed to go. Nobody understands me. You know that kind of thing. It just. I mean, part of that too. It could also be through no fault of their own. You know, everybody has their own life experiences. Everybody has their own, own knowledge that they built up. What they know, of people. You know, the people that they've been around. So, it's. I mean, it. it you know, but then I come along and I'm often branded as independent, um, eccentric, a weirdo, a goofball, etc. So, but again, sorry to sound like a broken record, but it's through no real fault of their own. So, because of that, I'm not going to go all the way to the right on it. Yes. And I think it was, I just remembered. I think uh, I think it was Henry Rollins that said it. I mean, yeah, he gets lonely, but sometimes when he's around a bunch of, you know, a bunch of assholes, douchebags, you know, people he can't stand, he feels even more lonely. Sometimes I get that way too. You know, you're in a group of people that I don't want to be around, and I gotta get the fuck out of there. And once again, like I said a few minutes ago, even you know, even other nerds. You know, presumably, because we all have the same interests, we'd all, we'd all get along like peas and carrots. Nope. Oftentimes, I want to get out of there. Or, again, we're not getting along for whatever reason. So, but yeah, this is definitely uh, all the way to the right on. Nope. I guess um, the short answer, shit happens. Again, the whole. I'm wondering if they're uh, if they're implying depression on this. I mean, do I think of that? Hell yeah, I do. But it doesn't totally 100 percent, you know, dominate my judgment or dominates my mind or anything like that. So I'll leave it in the middle. Nope, not at all. Again, some up. Uh... Yeah, wait, I need a. I started thinking a little more on this. I could have. Yeah, I could. It feels like I could almost make a whole video just on this question. I 
mean, if they don't know me, they, they can't really appreciate me. And it just, they all, you know, they all live their life. I live mine. So we're, I guess, parallel existences, I guess. So I guess because of that, I'll just leave it in the middle. This is going to be the, the undecided slash to make a whole video on this type answer. Yeah. But again, I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'm trying to put in the words why I don't put this all the way to the right. Yeah, I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and put it all the way over. Again, I can't, I can't remember, uh, I can't recall a single, uh, single interaction where, you know, it, we really hit it off and, you know, we all lived happily ever after or anything like that. So, yeah, if, if for that, if on the very off chance someone wanted to get to know me, um, yeah. Yeah. I'll, anyway, I'll push it all the way to the right. Yeah, this is something I was thinking about at work too. Um, I think we as a we as a species, we as a race, we're we're very loss averse. We don't we don't like pain. I mean, pain hurts. So naturally, we avoid it. So, so on one end, I guess in the there's a certain way I want to word this. But yeah, in the in the black and white, everybody looks at each other's faults. But in the shades of gray, not always. It's not always going to be all they look at. So, but like I said, we're, I think we're a, a very loss averse people. But at the same, but on the other hand, it's not like it's all we look at. So because of that, I won't go all the way to the right. <laughs> See all my previous answers. But uh, anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to take a drink of some water real quick. And I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to rescind that, bring that down again. Yeah, others reject me. But it's not like the, the, you know, Charlie Brown peanuts. Get out of here, Charlie Brown. We don't want you around or anything like that. It, it, maybe, uh, maybe back in younger days when we were all kids or something. But, you know, as you get older, it's just, it's more of a simple, it's just not working out. So, but again, the, the question feels like it's, like you're just, you're a 100% outcast and the entire world hates you and you know, that kind of thing. This. It's quick and easy all the way to the right on this one. In fact, it's even on my, um, it's even on my Twitch profile. I'm culturally and socially off the grid. Like I don't, you know, I, like I don't, you know, I don't follow current events or you know, pop culture stuff goes over my head, etc. Um, he's sensing a theme here. Based on past, based on past experience, 
not really going to work out. So yeah, all the way to the right on that one. Um, aside from my mom, and even then, I only talk to her like once in a very great while. Easy all the way to the right on that. Yep. There's always, there's always my family. I can always talk, I can always talk to my mom, um, sister. But again, I'm, I, I don't really like using this term. But lone wolf. It just it's a term that gets thrown around too much. I I can't remember uh, what video it was that I saw, but lone wolf is basically a myth. So Yeah, I just basically I prefer to go it alone. And the last question. Um Definitely to the right, but again, a lot of this is of my own choosing. So, it isn't just 100% you know, rejection, you know. It isn't like I'm hated by the whole world or anything like that. Like I said, a good job. Uh, most, a lot of it, is, I just choose to be. So. Okay, so let's find the results. Okay, that's kind of what I figured. Yeah, 57%. I experiment moderate levels. Yep. Um If they um if that includes when streaming? Yeah, sure. Okay. bother me yeah you may not have anyone you can identify nope um yeah it it pretty much takes a special kind of person. Or let me let me back up a bit. It would take a special kind of person to be able to deal with me. So Nope. Nope. I totally forgot what I wanted to say. Um, well, sometimes I wouldn't mind hanging out with somebody, but, but I also know that, uh, once again, sorry to sound like a broken record, but nearly all my interactions have never ended well, so. Okay, now, this website gets it. This is, this is something else that really bugs the hell out of me. The going out and meeting people. You know, if somebody, li you know, if somebody lived that model to the letter, you'd creep me the fuck out. You no. Know, like going out to a bar. Hey, can I get you any? Hey, can I get you anything? Oh, no, I'm just here to meet people. You know, going out to a social event. Hey, what you doing? Hey, what you doing? Oh, I'm just here to meet people. Yeah, I I kind of start shying away from you at that point. But yeah, it's you don't force new bonds through you know volunteering, hobbies, workout groups. Like you don't have to just go out to some social place just for the sole purpose of meeting people. You know, go out there because you want to volunteer, or you know you want to pursue a hobby, or you know you want to. You want to get a workout, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, most 
most of these other, you know, pamphlets, websites, magazines, books, etc., etc., it's always this, get out there and meet people. You know, which, again, that, if you follow that to the letter, you come off as pretty damn creepy. So I'm going to take another drink of water here. You know, get out there and get social. You know, and then, then there's the fact that uh, guys like myself, even in ideal conditions, we're not the most social people. It's something else I keep forgetting to say throughout this whole video. It is even, even when, you know, even when conditions are ideal, I'm really not, not that charismatic a person. I'm not that talkative. You know, you're more, I talk more in these videos than I do out in real life. So, uh, but otherwise, uh, overall, I kind of like the result. Just kind of a, kind of a happy medium, you know, moderate. So, I mean, like, throughout me, I wanted to take this test. I kept thinking it was going to be like down here close to a hundred or something. I'm like, wow, am I really that fucking bad? Huh. So, but anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it good here. So I think uh, I've done everything, wanted, done everything I wanted to do on this. So, But thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.